What's good family? Today I have something very interesting to show you. So you want to watch this video till the very end. Now the clip I'm about to show you is a traditional fish sale or fish auction on the coast of Tanzania in a town called Bagamoyo. So watch this video and then after I'll tell you about the experience and give you some game on how you can also visit this place if you ever come to Tanzania. <laughs> So this is where people come and buy fish. What's that? All uh, right now I'm in a part in the Bagumoyo market where they actually bring the fish that you've just seen and they'll fry it right so this is how some of it are just advertised here so we just bought some and this is it here so I'm gonna try it they put a sauce on it as well and let's see what it tastes like mm. it's really crunchy we got a nice flavor to it as well I guess that's because of the sauce but this one is quite bony so you gotta be careful especially with the small fishes they're quite bony they got a nice flavor to it I, I like it it's real nice mm. and especially with the sauce in it as well yeah I like that delicious and like I was saying fishes are staple here and the people diet on the coast here and it, it's in everything from breakfast lunch dinner fish is always incorporated 
And this is how the guy's frying it here. So that's how it's done. So that's how they fry the fish guys so trying it out let me finish eat this and i'll see you on the next one i really trust you enjoy that video clip and if you've been following my channel for some time you will know that i really appreciate cultural tourism and that's something i really look for when i travel to a new destination now the video clip that you saw was actually in a town called Bagamoyo and it's located around 47 miles north of Dar es Salaam city in Tanzania. Now if you want to know how to get there I did it the local way so if you get to a place called Nilimani shopping mall famous shopping mall in Dar es Salaam I think it's the biggest one in Dar es Salaam from there I got a bus to Tegeta Nuki now you have to say Tegeta Nuki because it will take you to the Tegeta bus station and it cost me around from Milimali to Tegeta it cost me around 500 Tanzanian shillings so that's under 50 cents guys and from there I got a bus to Bagamoyo and that was around 3,000 Tanzanian shilling so anyway around one US dollar or something like that when you do the conversion and it was around an hour's drive from Tegeta to Bagamoyo so that was really nice and then from there if you um, once you get there you can get a bajaji or a picky picky to the beach area and that's around a thousand Tanzanian shillings and if you're not sure of where you're going you know you can always ask someone I'm gonna put you on some game today you can see someone in the street you could say Samahani Naomba Saidiye Tafadhali excuse me can I get some help please Naomba Saidiye and then you can ask them I need to go to the beach or the coast and then from there someone will tell you where you need to go it's really not far it's around 10 minutes or so from the bus station once you get to Bagamoyo now Bagamoyo is a very historical town in Tanzania and there's a lot you can learn about its past there's museums available there's also an ancient site where they have ruins of um, moss and graves of various leaders of the area in a place called Kaole. Now Kaole is around another 15 minutes from Bagamoyo so you'll need to get a uh, picky picky to go there and that will cost you around 3,000 Tanzanian shillings that's how much I paid so that's around uh, maybe about a, a, a one US dollar and so so something like that so very much affordable and the people in Bagamoyo they're really friendly man after all Bagamoyo do have a reputation for being a hospitable town and people are used to seeing um, tourists come in there because of course people come to check out the sites and visit the church and different things like that in fact there's a church there which I believe was I'm not sure if it was built or but they have some connection with um, David Livingston a famous um, explorer throughout um, East Africa originally from Scotland so yeah there's a church there and a lot of history you can learn about what he did in that um, region there so very much a lot of people are accustomed to visiting there so people are used to seeing tourists guys so you wouldn't really have a problem in navigating your way around the city and if you notice on I believe it's the 1000 um, Tanzanian shillings note there's a picture of the German Boma and that Boma was is actually the one in Bagamoyo because Bagamoyo was actually at the capital of German East uh, well the, the town that was used as the capital for German East Africa at one point in history so there's really a lot to learn there so definitely if you've ever visit Tanzania you gotta check out Bagamoyo okay so just to recap now when I say Tegeta now Tegeta is an area located in Dar es Salaam so from Te from Milimani which is another area in Dar es Salaam you can get a local Dala Dala bus to Tegeta and that's around 500 Tanzanian shillings then from there you can get a bigger bus it's not a Dala Dala it's a much more bigger bus 
to Bagamoyo and that will cost you around 3,000 Tanzanian shillings. So it's a very much affordable journey, especially if you are new to Tanzania, you can, and you're willing to venture out a little bit from Dar es Salaam, then Bagamoyo is a good starting point for you to explore. It's a relatively small town and very much easy to navigate and get around. And the beach, as you can see from the video, you can see certain traditional things. Now, when I went there, that period was around the evening period. And they also have a, um, a similar vibe in the mornings as well, like around, so let's say 7 a.m. in the morning, if you go out there early, you can see when the fishermen bring their fish um, to, shore, to the shore and a lot of people come and buy and different things. So it's definitely a wonderful ex um, thing to witness if you visit the area. Now I do have a Udemy course online where you can check out, that you can check out and I discuss various places where you can visit in Tanzania and give you information on affordable hotels and different things like that. It's a very insightful course guys, so definitely check it out. I've left a link in the description of this video. Now I do trust that you have enjoyed today's vlog and I appreciate your time for watching. So do like, share and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Now my name is Wimba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel.